All right, we are back with uh, Decathlon number four, which is going to be best of one with uh, an emblem. But uh, before I talk about the emblem, I guess I can go into what I'm playing. I'm just playing the best of one deck that I built uh, a while back of my Mardu list, and uh, eh, it seems to be okay in this uh, in this format. I'll leave this, uh, if you want to take a better look at it, you can go ahead and pause the video. But yeah, let's talk about the emblem, which is the main thing here. Yeah, it's called Emblem Standard. So basically you get uh, each turn for three turns. So a total of three turns. You can choose a treasure token, a clue token, and a food token, but you can only choose one that hasn't been chosen before. So usually people go with treasure, then clue, then food in that order, which is the order that's listed in anyways. So essentially this format is just a blessing for Grixis and maybe some kind of artifact anvil deck maybe. I don't know, I was too lazy to figure out the format. The Decathlon is not something that's too enjoyable for me, so I just picked whatever list I had on hand and it happened to be a Mardu, a deck that I enjoy a lot anyways. So yeah, I, I didn't expect, I didn't actually expect it to go seven wins immediately. I thought I would, I would be forced to switch off and maybe play uh, some kind of more specified deck for to take advantage of, of this uh, gift bag emblem. But, uh, you know, it, it was good enough, and uh, it did its job. So yeah, th this is just free reign for Grixis, in my opinion, with the, the treasure being so valuable for them. Uh, getting Invoke Despair earlier, getting Kikijiki earlier, helping with their color problems, it's just a blessing, really. But yeah, I'm sure all the artifact decks could do fine as well. Either way, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button. It helps out a ton. And you can subscribe to my channel to keep up with my videos. Treasure, free treasure, and then free... This this doesn't add, like, any interesting gameplay dynamics. It's just standard on crack, basically. Yeah, I know, I know it's one, one token per turn, only one each, yeah. But it, it's just dumb, because... You're just taking treasure first, clue second, and then food thir third, so it's like already in order, basically. I don't think it's meant to be anything but dumb, though. It's supposed to be like fun for newer players, I think, and then, well. So then the, those newer players spend the, spend their money. And for better players, it's just free cards, I guess. I mean, for that, the thing is, for them, this is not a waste of time. They're making a ton of money. Most likely. Ooh, Archangel with the treasure, guaranteed. Interesting. Some, maybe playing like three, three Brotherhood's End and then cracking all of these early and sweeping your opponent's tokens away could be interesting. Everybody's gonna play Rakdos. This is gonna be pretty, pretty dumb. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty dumb. Eh, that's what it is. Come on, last turn. Isn't there an artifact deck that can use, like, a bunch of tokens to snowball something? Oh my god. You should just play Rakdos Anvil and just eat the food token for free. That sounds dumb. That sounds real dumb.
Hmm. Might use the treasure, uh, not the treasure, the, uh, the blood token. Yeah, this looks like classic Rakdos. I don't think I need a, I need hearts against Rakdos. This is more for Grixis, and I don't think they're playing Grixis with a swamp. They, they could, I guess. Yeah, I need to keep developing. I can't. I can't afford to keep it. Next turn, harvest into clue into warden with the treasure, and hopefully that's enough. I mean, they just used their treasure for a bankbuster. Oh, they just fixed this. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, as I said. Dude, why is it that I face all new players and then now, now I just hit the, hit the Grixis? Hmm, I can't really force this warden out. Or maybe I can. Is this the sealed decathlon? Nope. I should uh, change the. Uh... There we go. I mean, if this was sealed, I'd feel uh... <laughs> It'd be interesting. Would they really have a counter spell in this spot? I, I think I have to play it. Like there's nothing else they're gonna counter. And I can't I can't let them just get away with drawing and me not developing something strong. Yeah. It's either I win here on the spot or they have a counter spell and they win, I guess. Well, they don't win, but they're in a good spot. Are they though with my Edgar in play? Hmm. I actually don't know, but I definitely have a chance even if they counter it, but they have no chance if they don't have a counter, so it puts them on a on an insta win or potentially win. Both are positives for me. Hmm. All tap lands kind of bad. But... Another Grixis player. Ooh. Yeah, being on the play is even worse now because they can fable on two. Oh my god. Just end me. Just end me now. <laughs> Dude, dude, Fable on two is actually like unbeatable, I think. Ah, oh, that that's pretty. I mean, that's essentially the same thing. They're doing the two and then three plus kill my thing. Pretty much game over already. I have to go for like the potentially blocking the. Thing, I guess. God, what can you build that would take advantage of a format like this? It's all Grixis. There's no reason to play anything else. It's just by far the best, uh, the best thing to take advantage of uh, of triple triple tokens. Oh, maybe the Izzet deck would be pretty good. Wait, what? Can it use... Does it use tokens? Not really, but... 
add green for Wormlet. I could play, I could play Jun Sack. That wouldn't be terrible. And that wouldn't be the worst thing ever, I guess. If they had removal, they would have used it, so they definitely don't. I think Jun Sack or maybe is it Ramp? The treasure is kind of good in Asset Ramp, unless you get uh, your Power Stones out earlier. Kill it now before they can counter. I think Jund is by far the best thing you can do. If I had to guess. I think this is my best chance against Grixis. I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't see a reason not to play Grixis. Maybe, maybe is it though, yeah. Is it is okay-ish. just doesn't do very good against uh, counter spells. A Wormlet deck is probably okay, yeah. I don't know. I need my angels, and they need to not have a counter spell. It's not gonna be easy. Okay. Dealing with I mean, at this one I have to like I have to take risks for no reason. Well, there is a reason, but I'm just too far behind. It's it's actually funny that this uh, this decathlon is like the only one with actual good decks in it. Oh, this is gonna be the same trend as the other ones where you just hit a bunch of uh, new players, or maybe it's new players with Grixis decks. Doesn't sound that possible, but.
Yeah, being on the draw is a death sentence when people get a free treasure. Oh, still get the on two, though. Alright, not Grixis. Maybe we have a chance. I think I'm still going to play on Curve just to save this treasure for um, Archangel. If I was on the play, I would slam Fable every time, but I'll just still get to activate it. Also, I might need the treasure for the second Black Source. damage. If only I was on the play. Honestly, that's not that's not bad. That's not too bad. Decent. I get a free discard on that. Any reason to make them equip? Giving them a free draw? Probably not. They didn't have a land. Yeah, whatever. It's 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 mana use, so whatever. Even if they draw the land, I guess. Well also they did use it they did activate it once, never mind, and that was a no brainer. Don't overthink Sure. this it's my priority here board state card advantage it's probably board state I don't really want to take four. Sure. Oh, I should have drawn it. Got a little tilted. I guess I'll just do this instead then.
missing that clue is pretty annoying. The edge guard's nice, though. Wow, they should have just blitzed that. Good for me. Still, same mistake. Hmm, I can probably afford to activate the clue. Or I can wait. I don't know. I kinda wanna find an answer. Yeah, I don't I don't think waiting. I think I just take it. It's not terrible. Could break the transmog, which is actually not bad. I think it's my best play. I would get rid of my blood, but eh. Getting rid of the crown is pretty huge. That's a problem. It's a good draw. Decent. Helps against shield red top deck. Oh damn, I thought they were gonna double bliss. That would have been terrible for me actually. This is way better, because I have a removal spell locked in for that. Ooh. Don't know if I want to take damage in this spot. Not really. So, huh, but it's so much damage to them, though. No, it's not worth it. It's, it's definitely not worth it. Question is, attacking with Bolt or attacking with just this? Attacking with Bolt, I draw a card... At five, their only out for for lethal, I think, would be cut down number three and a land. So they'd have to draw exactly land and cut down. I think I just take the damage. The token is pretty safe, but this is better against invoke, I think. Yeah. Ooh, too late for that, but if I had drawn that, I would have been set. Sure. Actually, it's still good now. I did not expect them to draw a path. That's kind of annoying. Not, eh, it's not that bad. They have to block. And I get the card immediately. That's big. Oh, I don't. Oh. Oh. I got shadowed. Still worthy trade. Oh. 
That's fucking annoying. That's really fucking annoying. Cause I, can't, I couldn't break it. Maybe I was supposed to let them... Oh, I missed lethal. Well, kind of panicked a little bit. Ah, <sighs> whatever. I don't think they can win in this spot. If I didn't draw the out, I probably would have seen the lethal. I just got tunnel visioned on what I drew, pretty much guaranteeing the win. Alright, somehow we're beating the Grixis players. <laughs> somehow. Turn one, Giada. Super garbage. Turn one hearse though. That's pretty good. Soldiers. Oh, this is very good. Oh, finally not Grixis. Oh, thank goodness. That's huge. This should be super easy. Hopefully. You know what? I'm, I was in my head, if I think about it, I would expect a lot more soldiers than, uh, than Grixis, actually. But that doesn't seem to be the case, for some reason. I think they they want they they want the trade here. I'm happy they already used the treasure. Sure. Probably buff this right. Um, it's actually that's pretty okay. They do get one token back, but. I almost don't want to kill the Thalia, but I guess I should. Oh, oh, I, f I forgot this was not at the same time. Yeah, I'm playing terribly. Oh, whatever. Just, just ignore me. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Play the game instead of me, chat. I, I don't know. I guess I haven't touched standard in too long. I thought this proc at the same time for some dumb reason. Wait, would I? Don't I take the block, actually? No, there's no way I take the block here. I guess it didn't matter. Actually, this ended up being a good play. Only... <laughs> this... <laughs> it ended up being the better play because they gave me four life for free. Cool. Redeemed. Order. I think their bo their bodyguard, their vanguard thing is pretty huge though. But well, it's not anymore.
What a dumb game. This matchup is so good for me that I can make like one of the worst possible. Well, it's not. I guess it wasn't that bad to give them one one. It could be devastating though. There are a few situations where that actually matters a lot. Oh, it's not three zero. It's three one. I'm sure we can program something. Chat plays. Twitch, Twitch plays MTG. You know how they have the Twitch plays Pokemon? That would be easier, I think, than Twitch plays Pokemon. Or would it? Because actually, no, it wouldn't. Because Pokemon uses a gamepad, right? So it's a lot easier to program. Like, you can program directional inputs a lot better. No, it would be impossible. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, the only reason Twitch Plays Pokemon is playable is because of the directional inputs from the gamepad. Twitch Plays Dark Souls? Wait, that's possible? Wait, how do you do that? What do they type in chat? Like, to move? They type to move? Wait, how does that even work? I don't know exactly, but they they actually beat Soul. That's that's insane. Like that's unbelievable. That's ins that's actually absurd. But wow, that's a huge achievement probably because I have no idea how you'd program the inputs for that. Unless it was a pro. Wait, maybe was it from from zero? Like they played Dark Souls from zero, or was it actually like a profile with like like a pre-made character with like. Decent stats already, something like that. Because <laughs> like, that sounds insane from zero, but maybe, maybe it's not as hard as I think it is. You're like really smart about the game. I don't know. Painlands, striking again for no reason. I don't even have. Eh, I guess I, this is the 12 Painland version. We have to change it. 43 days. <laughs> Maybe they. Okay, they. What they did is they probably. Yeah, they probably over leveled or something by going into like a grind, XP grind areas. And then they use that to power through bosses instead of relying on the mechanics. I don't think it's possible to mechanically beat bosses if you're not, like, overstatting them by a lot. With, like, tankiness and stuff. Like, you need a ton of HP, because you can't really dodge, I would assume. Yeah, you actually, you can't dodge. So, you need stats to compensate. You would have to farm... Wait, they chose not to save their Ronin? Can I draw a land that doesn't hurt me, please? Helps a lot, but you still... No, I know you're not invincible from over... But you need, like... Since you can't dodge... You probably could maybe dodge... A few hits, maybe, if you're lucky. Like, you'd have to... Actually, maybe it's not that hard. Because if you know the patterns by heart... But it's Twitch chat playing. It's not just one person in Twitch chat. So somebody could fuck up the input. Like, pre-input a dodge. When you're supposed to wait, like, a little longer or something. God, oh, that sucks, actually. Eh, does that suck? No, it's not too bad. So it still blocks, but I would have drawn it. Soon. No, I'm sure it's possible. If you have really good players, but no, they did 940. I mean, yeah, the problem is that Twitch chat is not a unit. Like, it's not a hive mind. People can, like, easily sabotage you if if they don't know what the fuck's going on, right? Yeah, Mono Red doesn't sound like something that would be that good in this format. Because, uh, 
Mono Red's main weakness is that it gets overpowered in the mid game against most decks. And you can reach the mid game a lot faster with a treasure, and it doesn't help you go that much faster. It can, but uh, on average, it helps your opponent because they can get a bigger spell out earlier. Yeah, it was definitely more. It was definitely luck. What well, had to be luck because with everybody spamming inputs, the input that gets chosen is just art. It's just kind of random, right? And I'm sure some people just live to troll, so they would just put input the wrong or bad directions and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I might watch that bit. I don't know. It's probably going to be long as hell, though. Oh, also, Mono Red suffers from your opponent getting a food. It's pretty bad. Everything is pretty bad for Mono Red. The, the clue is nice for them, though. That's pretty much the only thing. Yeah, sure. If you want. It's not really gonna help. Yeah, too healthy. I don't I don't need the um I don't need the second angel attacking, I'd rather get the clue. Chat plays MTG with a screen, location, click region, vote. Oh, uh, that would be so hard, right? You would need so many. But I guess technically doable, right? Technically doable. If you have regions for each potential card you could have in hand, it wouldn't work reliably. Okay, it would only work. You would. It would work. If you have a simple deck like Mono Red or something, something that doesn't draw over the hand limit, then you can have regions, kind of, I think, maybe. Well, you you would know where to click to end the turn. Dude, that would not work. People in chat would just spam end turn to troll. And that would not work. That would not work. <laughs> that would not work, I think. It's passing a turn is essentially done. Like, once one end turn command registers, it's over. Oh, just freeform? <laughs> oh yeah, you can get, even if, like, even if it's only, like, a few people in chat spamming end turn, it, eventually they'll get it, and then you'll just lose the game off that. You can't, you can't pass the turn in, in match. <laughs> Unless it's, like, turn... Two maybe if you have like a control deck, but I don't know. And no white. This is kind of cringe, but I'll keep it. I'm on the play. If I find one white source, this game is doable. Attack all. Yeah, there's so many things you can do in Magic that, that are just worse than in other games, I think. Like, there's no stat. There's no, like, tankiness in Magic. There's nothing. There's no buffer. Like, in all the other games, there's, like, you know, HP bars somewhere that, you know, you tank, you can tank a hit, but you can't tank. Like, a turn is not. <laughs> it's not the same thing. Oh, I also get the clue to draw, so. The sand is weird. I hope they're playing, like, a soldier deck or something. Something I can snowball this Archangel in the mid game, even if I fall behind. I'll have two draws essentially on three. I'll have the blood token to redraw and I'll have um, the clue. Oh my god, let's go. Beautiful. Now it's dying. Well, sucks to suck. At least I found it. It's Grixis again, god damn it. Oh, it's not. Oh my, what a draw. Holy shit, I'm so lucky, dude. Oh my god. Best of one, baby.
Okay. Yeah, I don't think the mirror control is going to do very well here. It, it might, but... So I could do Giada, Steel... No, I can't do that. So is there any reason to... Keep my Giada here? Maybe. Yeah, maybe just hold the entire hand. At worst, I can play this on 6 for no white, and then use the 2 white for this, essentially. Oh, got it. Six five. I can't die to go for the throat. Wait, what is cut down? Oh, this is cut down. Okay. I thought for some reason I, I thought this was cut down when I compared it to cast down. But no, cut down is the one mana. Alright. Alright, so I guess I Every time I don't hit Grixis, the stack just farms. But Grixis, though. Actually, I did beat both Grixis players. Wait, did I? What did I lose to? No, I lost to Grixis, right? Yeah, definitely. I think I think I lost to Grixis. I don't remember when. Uh... On the play, no untap land, but the hand is really good overall. I can push out Giada on two anyways. I might do that. Depending on what they play to turn one, I guess. Okay. Wow. On tap land? Oh, okay. If they had a Thalia, wouldn't they play a Thalia? That's my question, right? But I should still not. I'll take the two. I still shouldn't do it, because they crack their treasure. I think if they don't crack their treasure, I would always play this, but... I'm gonna keep the mana advantage. That's pretty rough, but... I'll have the Archangel coming down. It's mono white. I'm gonna take six here, go to ten, and then hopefully win the game the next turn. Unless they have Cathar. Ah. Well, that's bound to happen eventually. I should have this shit, huh? Okay. Hmm. God damn, man. I would have destroyed them if they didn't have Cathar. Hopefully it stabilizes my board, though. Having double Giada instead of Fable is rough, though. Oh, wow. That could be a problem, potentially. But not really. 
Oh, whoops. Wait, I, no, I didn't have anything in the graveyard. I was going to say mistake, but... I, I wish I threw Jihad in the graveyard. Why, didn't I, why did I not throw Jihad in the graveyard? I don't know. I actually don't know. And why are they not trying to flip this? Yeah, I should, uh, I should definitely just take care of the trooper here, right? Wait, can I even die, though? They attack all? No, nah, I can't die. But I, I, I should still destroy the Qatar, right? Yeah. I don't think I can die here. Not enough attackers. Okay, that's good. Wow, I can't believe they would do that over pumping. I feel like pumping this and then activating this the next turn is their... I don't know, they can't, because... I don't know. No, they're screwed. They have to draw, yeah. Never mind. Then I have shield red. Yeah, I'm in a good spot here. Even though they had a relatively good start. They really needed a Thalia, I think, on... Yeah, they needed maybe another Cathar. Oh my god. Uh, it's not terrible though. I have a lot more angels to top deck eventually. And I've got a got a truckload of blood tokens coming as well. Get rid of the flyer. Yeah, their options are too limited here. That was a good draw for them, but it wasn't... Actually, they should have just destroyed the Kiki. I don't know. Sure, this is annoying for them, but not as much as them losing their key key units every turn. And I have in infinite card filtering with the blood tokens. Wow, that's pretty good. Get, they get one draw and then it dies. Hopefully it's not something good. That's yeah, not that good. It's not bad though. Two bodies when I'm well, I'm pretty healthy now. Interesting. Interesting. I don't even think that's worth. It's just, uh, it will be eventually, though. But, like, I lose my entire board. They have a card in hand. I don't have a card. Maybe let's draw first and see. I don't know, I don't see it. I don't think it's worth it. I'm still attacking the Giada in the air, like... That can't be worth it. Getting baited super hard. It might be eventually, if they go... If they hit me with like a... Actually, they're not playing blue. I was gonna say, if they hit me with the draw thing, I would have to sweep. But maybe I wouldn't. I mean, I just... Like, why would I sweep? <laughs> but should I just do it for the memes? I don't know. Whatever, I'll just play it. I'll play it like a normal human being. Oh, I had an extra mana. Oh, whatever. Yeah, I'm not playing it like a normal human being. They can see it if I sweep. 
All right, fuck it, I'll do it. It's not a good play, but well, maybe it is a good play because yeah, I guess you're right. If they can see, it's it's lethal. So I did miss lethal maybe next the last turn. All right, I was a little bit fearful that we wouldn't. Get the seven wins with the stack because of Grixis being potentially everywhere, but it looks like that was a fear that did not materialize. I don't mean my deck still has a good chance against Grixis. I just think the treasure token helps them way more with the counter spell, etc. Like counter spell the fable. So play draw coin flip if they have fable, it's rough. Invoke on four, guaranteed almost. Mono red is, it's okay, but also I'm gonna take a shit ton of damage, so it's not that okay. I would like a like a, yeah, I would like a slow land. Red source, I can do this on three without using the treasure. Oof, that's pretty good. Pretty high odds at finding a red source, maybe. Or at least a land. At least a non-pain land. That's all I need. I'm, at. I'm not asking for much here. Just one non-pain land. Any. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to let that rip, potentially. Or maybe not. Alright, let's see. I could also just tank it. <laughs> Why would I not sweep though? It's like, it's just. It's annoying because I have main lands in hand, but. It puts them so far behind. They don't even have. Oh, they have third land now. They didn't. Ouch. The fact that I'm taking damage is rough, though. Okay, I'm not taking damage. Alright. Fantastic. So I shouldn't die here. And then I can stabilize. Oh, nice. That's way too clunky. They're just going to lose here. It's pretty much perfect. I will have to take another two damage, but... Oh, sorcery speed. Yes! Ooh, yes. Minus one damage taken. Let's go. That's yeah, game over. <laughs> the happiness I feel when I draw a non pain land is immense. Alright, so we got first try Decathlon 3. And we're gonna get first try Decathlon 4. Potentially. I should just develop the, the angel here. I don't see a reason not to. Although it's better from behind, this guarantees that I can't die no matter what. Oh, did it tap it to save me one life? Eh, that's okay. Acceptable.
Acceptable, acceptable. It's not like I'm gonna block with this anyways, right? Yeah. Eh. It was actually good then. All upside. So this is a 4-5, which means they can't kill it with any 3 damage removal spell, so it should be safe. It should at least block it gave me 4 life if I need to. I probably won't block, unless they play a bunch of hasty creatures. But that's probably not possible with 4 cards in hand, that they would be able to kill me through that. Yeah, I've gotten really lucky the past, uh, past uh, 2 days. Which is annoying, because I know that once I stop playing these events, and I go back to playing ranked, that's probably not going to happen, but it is what it is. I'm using up all the luck that was stored in the bank. Alright. 7-1. Pretty good. I think that's gonna do it. Perfect. Knocking knocking them out first try is really good for my schedule too. So I am getting pretty hungry. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, double decathlon session.